Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you the products I use um, in summer when I'm blow drying my hair and when I'm shampooing my hair to kind of keep the frizz down. And I'm also going to show you how to do this. It's just a quick little twist. I'm also going to show you um, a French braid as well for the front of your hair if you don't want the twist. Hey guys, okay first I'm going to straighten my hair while my straightener is heating up. Um, I'm just going to tell you what products I use. Um, for shampoo in summer because my hair gets really frizzy and I really want to do like um, the Brazilian blowout but I'm kind of like afraid I don't know why just because there's so much like uh, bleach and stuff on my hair I just don't know if it's gonna like work very well I don't know if you have like really bleached hair and you've had a Brazilian blowout um, and it worked well let me know down below but for now I'm just using uh, this which works the same kind of as a Brazilian blowout but not like as intense um, and it's called Bye Bye Frizz by Mark Anthony, shampoo and conditioner, uh, sulfate free, reduces frizz by 75%, uh, detangles, seals, outer strands, adds shines and blocks humidity, and I honestly think that's all true. Every time I blow dry my hair with this, um, it's not frizzy anymore, and it actually like, doesn't frizz during the day, um, during really humid days, which is great, because I hate when you do your hair and then it frizzes. So, yeah, I use this, and I love it. Very inexpensive, too, so I highly suggest it. And then um, after, I use, like when I get out of the shower, I use these two. Uh, this is Full Repair by John Frieda. Uh, this one is Perfect Ends Deep Infusion, and this one is Perfect Ends Sheer Mist. So I put this one all over the ends of my hair. These are extensions, but like the ends of my hair, which ends like here. And then I also do this at night when my hair is dry because my hair is so dry and damaged that it actually like soaks in. It looks like really greasy and then I wake, ugh, sorry. And then I go to bed and I wake up and it's like all soaked in and it actually has helped my hair grow and get healthier. And this one I put all over my hair so I just like spray it all over so it gets um, all nice and smooth and shiny, which my hair is actually like quite shiny for the amount of damage and bleach to it. And then as you can see, I'm using the Herbal Essence uh, heat protectant spray. Heat protectant spray is very important if you want your hair to grow and be healthy. So I'm just going to spray that in now and it's also very important that you let it sit because you're going to feel that your hair is um, wet from it and you're just going to do the complete opposite of protecting it if you put that on and instantly straighten it. So I'm just going to let this sit in my hair for probably about two to three minutes and then I'll be back and I'll, I'm going to straighten my hair. Okay, so my hair is all dry, so I'm just going to comb it out starting from the bottom. And I know you're all thinking, Steph, your hair is pretty straight. I know, it's not straight enough for me. I like really straight hair. And I just quickly run this through. I just generally do the bottoms, um, aside from like the front pieces. See, it just, just kind of makes it a little bit smoother than this side. I don't know. I'm weird. So I do have generally um, straight hair, so I don't have to straighten much. But yeah, I only straighten the bottoms because I don't want to, like, straighten away the volume, even though there's not much volume in my hair today um, because it's second day hair. For the front braid, you will need, you can, a comb is optional, but um, a comb, bobby pins, or um, a clear elastic, I don't have one of those, so bob pins will have to do today. Okay, so I've zoomed up for you so it's easier to see. Basically, we're going to be working with like this whole front section here. This is what we're going to be braiding. This is about two inches from my part. And so I'm just going to bobby pin the hair back so it kind of gets out of my way and it's easier to work with this way. You can see my extension right there, but don't worry, it'll be covered. So the first piece we're going to work with is going to be the two inches by about one inch, like that. And we're going to divide this into three sections. Sorry if you guys see me keep going like this, I'm looking in the mirror because it's getting a little bit confusing. Okay. So we have three sections sideways. So we're just going to normal braid once. So top over middle, side over middle, like that. And then the top one, we're going to grab 
a one inch section and then you're going to normal braid that. Okay. And then the top section again, grab about an inch section piece. They don't have to be like perfect. They can be if you want them to be, but it doesn't really make a big difference. Normal braid. Top section again. Normal braid. Top section again. And I think I'm going to end after this section. Normal braid. Okay. And you can normal braid it once more. You can normal braid it like all the way down if you want, like continue the braid. I know it looks weird on me because my roots are really bad, so it looks a little bit odd, but I'm gonna let this down now. And I'm just going to twist the rest. And we're gonna grab bob pin. So that's what it looks like. It would look much better if I didn't have roots, but you get the point. So yeah, like I said, it would look much better if I didn't have roots, but that's what it turns out to be. Um, Another way I like it if you don't want to go through the hassle of that. So you're just going to start where your part starts or if you want to bring your part lower because you want the braid braid to start lower. This one's not going to be a braid. You're literally just going to grab a piece of your hair like this and start twisting. And then you're going to grab another piece and twist. And you just twist them all together. So every time you make a twist, you grab another piece and you add it to the twist. And then once I reach about here, I always just keep twisting it, not continuing down. I just grab whatever pieces I had and twist them, and then bring them to the side. They look generally the same, and um, this one takes literally two seconds. I do this pretty much almost every day. Um, when it's really, really, really hot out and I just want my bangs out of my face. Um, looks really cute from the side, too. Um, this will definitely look better if you don't have roots because then you kind of like bring your roots up and you kind of have like a brown twist um, with blonde hair. But you guys get the point and um, I hope you guys try this out and I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys, love you.